just quit raining outside. You can see we got a good, a good uh, almost probably 1.9 gallons from from Allie. She's finishing up her her rations there. When she gets done, we're gonna go walk her out, and then we'll walk Elsa in. Hadn't seen uh, Christoph this morning. I guess he's chilling somewhere. Uh, but uh, El Elsa's right there. But uh, I guess Kristoff somewhere. I can't see because it's dark. But I'm going to go ahead and get Elsa in. And that way we can get finished for the night. Or excuse me, for the morning. It is night looking. <laughs> I need to go back to bed. Uh, but she's, she did really well. We're having to do a dump here outside. Because I don't have enough room in this canister. So I'll do a dump here. And then uh, of course I'm going to fill this up with Elsa. We'll walk them back in and process them both at the same time. So we have right here about four, a little over four and a half gallons. That's not counting the gallon and a half we have inside from yesterday from Allie. Now, you see Allie's milk is, is, is more white. We got a little bit more yellow tinge from uh, from Elsa, which is normal. Uh, this is her third and fourth day milk, or excuse me, fourth day milk here. So it's still a little yellow tomorrow. It should clear up because today it was real. It was more like milk, 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 compared to being uh, a little bit thicker like it was a few days ago with colostrum. I got lunch right there. It looks good, doesn't it? But I just want to show you now what we'll do with this yellow milk that's real thick right now. We'll actually probably go ahead and process, process, process it as butter. And that way it's thicker already and it actually makes an absolutely great butter. Uh, we've taken the two days before, let's see if we put them up here. Oh, that's chicken. Um, in the other freezer we've processed the colostrum, about four gallons worth of colostrum and mixed meal the first two days that the baby didn't take. And we've already put it in, in little bags and we've put it in the, the free refrigerator just so, or excuse me, the freezer so that way we can utilize it whenever we need to. Uh, with you know other calves but uh again inundated with milk which is a good thing we'll use it for a lot uh over probably today or tomorrow we're probably gonna make some ice cream tonight too that sounds real good well it's flooding again. It has not stopped. It's literally been raining um, since about 12 o'clock last night. We're probably up two or three inches. Um, we got water standing. Our whole yard is just standing. Uh, I couldn't hardly get the milk pump out this morning. It's so, so crazy. So, I wanted to do some filming on uh, milking both cows again, just kind of update there. But uh, just with uh, the weather like it was, I couldn't bring my camera out. But it's, it's raining pretty heavy right now. I don't know if you can see it with all the kind of mist right there, but it's raining hard. Um, we were going to put the cows back in, in ryegrass like we've been doing the last few, few videos, but just being it's just that nasty, we're not going to worry about it we give them some extra hay. We're going to also put some hay in the barn so when we bring um, Allie and uh, Elsa back over to post to the stanchion on the back side of the greenhouse. There'll be a, there's a barn right there, uh, kind of our second dairy barn. We'll put, uh, put some hay in there and that way it'll be dry for the little calf, but also for Allie and Elsa if you have some before uh, we milk them in the morning. So we're gonna get that done. I've already dropped off two loads of hay. We're doing pretty good on our hay rations. We've got about three full bales left um, to get us through the season, which I think that'll be okay. I might have to buy one or two more, maybe. But I actually think we've been doing pretty good because I hadn't even opened up these two ryegrass paddocks. Uh, this one's been about 80 days now. This one they've been on was around 55 to 60 days. So they're they're starting to eat it now, but I've been kind of conserving it too. So I think we're gonna be okay. But we just gotta gotta get this hay, gotta get done with this rain because it's tearing my fields up. Just being that it's just so much water. Um, like I told you before, in ro rotational grazing, when you are rotational grazing. Sometimes you may have to sacrifice a few paddocks uh, when it rains like this because you don't want them going in every paddock tearing it up. So we have, we've not sacrificed paddock yet, we haven't had that, but we have one, like a dairy extension paddock, it's pretty, um, pretty beat up. And it's just because I bring them over there at night and keep them in that paddock before we milk them in the next morning. So what we're gonna do to this tonight, Misty had a good idea, is just to leave them in this paddock here and just uh, hopefully the baby will come straight on over uh, in the morning. So. 
we'll see what happens. Um, we just gotta get the rest of this hay put out. See, so you got a little close right here. <laughs> but I had to get it, I had to get the ranger close enough to where I could turn around and come through this little gate that we did. And we hung it up and then put this pile of hay here. Now see, this was that stanchion. We took it down for right now because we just use it as a storage station. But I have a V right here where if we need to utilize it, I have power. I can see. And we, we thought about doing it, especially when we had the calves so we wouldn't have to move, move them so much. But to be honest with you, they've done good with it. So I'm sorry it's loud, guys. It's, I'm going to 10 roots with it raining. But this is where we put the hay. That way it can stay dry. So she's got hay right now to eat. The other cows, of course, have hay. And look at that. Look at that path going through that water. Unbelievable. As you can see it from this way. Man, it's bloody. But again, to show you where we're at, I'm gonna put you in the rain just for a second. We're at that run, that's the run coming behind the house. And of course, this is that little catch pen. So, this allows them to get some breathing from the dairy station area, which is disgusting, just from all the rain it's had. And we're just letting them hang out throughout the day in these paddocks, just, uh, just to give the rest to that paddock. And then of course, we'll bring them over in the morning around four. No rain delays here, huh? No rain delays here, huh? Look at all this water. Aiden's filling up water while it's raining. Is that ironic or what? Huh? <laughs> hey, give me a little dance. You can do some dancing in the rain or singing in the rain. I know some of you guys have been here since day one, but I come around the corner and the baby's laying against this fence. Well, the, if this fence right here, this one post and this strand right there, I don't know if that reminds you of anything, but I have some videos where Sizzle ripped that down. Now, if y'all don't know Sizzle, he's no longer with us, but Sizzle was a terrible uh, <clears throat> steer we had, but it came apart a while ago. I don't know if, if the baby pushed on it and didn't mean to, but the, the little, basically the nail spur, the nail stud, just kind of popped out of the, the, um, out of the post. You know, I can't let that happen, especially as small as, as he is. So, you know, even in the rain, we had to go ahead and drive it back in. So I just did a two, two double nails right there and, and kind of got it all secured on the fourth one down, if you see that. So at least it's back tight. We'll actually get it tighter and tie them all back together on another day. But at least we got it back where we have no issues there. Uh, because he was literally laying against it and we can't have that. We can't have him get out. All right, so the main purpose of this video is to show you and tell you a little bit about what happened this morning. So it was storming this morning. Something on the camera. It was storming this morning. You saw it's still raining. Look in front of our dairy. Now, now we move our cows. You see how gorgeous the grass is in this paddock. But it needs a rest because it's time for it to rest. But see, we still milk right here too. So we bring them from either there or you know the other side of the field over here so they got plenty of fields to be at but this is where they come to milk every morning look at right in front of it it's just a mud pit i have to bring my cart through there and both sets of cows through here so these say it's disgusting so again I, I bring in rock and try to make it clean as possible and of course the milk's clean but i'm talking about just even me just standing in here so this morning if, if y'all have ever dealt with a calf trying to milk a mama, um, we have, we've got the halter just like we did with Josie. We haltered him, but he's a little bit more feist. So I finally got him in. He didn't want to come in. They also didn't want to come in without him. So what I did was I finally got him tied up. Everything was good. Well, I uh, got done milking, moved the feed like I always do to get Elsa out. Well, the back wasn't unhooked yet because I usually unhook it right after I move the food because she knows it's time to go. So the calf at this point is sitting right here on this little pad I built. He jumps in the food, scares her up to death, she rams the back. Well, you know, she's a, probably a good 13, 1400 pound animal. Well, this is my swing that basically sits, you know, right there by my feet. 
to where it hooks right here, you know, and swings and pulls their butt closer to me. <laughs> well, she, for three minutes, my hand was between that, this chain here trying to get her undone because she couldn't get out and she was going to break all of it. Even though this is all cemented in, I was thinking she's going to break it all because she's going nuts because her baby's going nuts. So I finally got this kind of somewhat undone. As soon as I did, it popped and snapped, um, you know, the edge of our, uh, the edge of our wood. So now I've got to, in this middle of this rain, not only am I, you know, fixing a fence that's broke, I actually got to take this and get a new one of these. So not the, not the best morning and day, but some days are better than the others. So let's get this done and then we're gonna wrap it up for the day. Cause it's been a long, nasty, wet day, but I, I've got to get this done. That's what she did with the original. See that bent, she just bent it straight out and broke the wood. So shows she's strong. Always trust, you know, don't trust your animals, but don't to, don't to a point where you just think that they're safe and always, because if they get round up, uh, they can do a lot more to you than they did to this this uh, bolt here. All right, so we've got it all put back together. We've got the new bolt in here where she ripped it. We come back and replace this here. All oh, this is new because um, it got bent. Now this one did get bent too, but it's it's in there. I actually had it bent a little bit so it's easier to kind of round around her. So this one was a little bit anyway, but it's it's still so. I mean, it's not moving any. So I'm gonna leave it like it is. I'm hoping we don't have another incident like that because she is actually the easiest cow. Uh, it's just the baby went nuts, so therefore mama goes nuts. So we've got that done. You see we've got to get some fresh rock. We're going to move some of this fresh rock into this area so that way it will be cleaner in here because, again, the best thing is to make sure the environment for our cows and also the environment for our milk stays as clean as possible, especially even though it's in this nasty weather. So we're going to finish up doing that today. We hope you're enjoying our videos. Thank you so much for watching. And... God bless you. Happy homesteading, y'all.